the first program which we will discuss in this tutorial is called sniffer.c this is a very simple sniffer program which binds to an interface and receives packets from that and displays the packet in hex on the screen so let's quickly first look at the program flow and then discuss the individual functions in more detail so uh, this is the main function and first of all we go ahead and create a socket once we've created the socket we bind that socket to an interface uh, a choice which we provide to the user after that we also take in the number of packets to sniff from the user that's also an input and then we go ahead and start sniffing and print the packet in hex this is the main loop where that happens and whenever a packet is successfully received we print that packet onto the screen let's first look at how this program actually executes so let's compile it and then let's run it before running what I'd like to point out is the if config command so as we are seeing that this is the ethernet interface ETH0 and this is the loopback interface loopback interface is an internal interface which the kernel uses we are more interested in the ETH0 interface through which we are connected to the rest of the LAN we can also see that this is our MAC address and this is our IP address one thing which you are noting is this statement up broadcast running multicast so what this means that this interface is up receiving both you know unicast broadcast and multicast packets so as we had discussed earlier we want to put this interface onto promiscuous mode so that it can receive all packets for that the command is simple if config eth0 promisc now if we run the if config command you will notice that that line has changed from if broadcast running multicast to if broadcast promisc multicast it actually means it's also in promiscuous mode these are nothing but flags okay. once the interface has been set into promiscuous mode now it can receive packets from all host on the connected LAN now let's run our compiled sniffer code ETH0 is an input and the number of packets you want to sniff <coughs> sorry so as we can see that a packet has been sniffed and the packet has been dumped in hex format packet starts packet ends and we have the hex equivalent of the packet in between now let's look at the code little bit more deeply raw is basically the socket descriptor for the raw socket packet underscore buffer is what is going to contain the packets which we receive from the interface len you would get to know a little later packets to sniff is basically the input which the user gives as to how many packets to sniff display on the screen and then we exit sock addr underscore ll a packet info is nothing but some of the information which the kernel gives back to us about the packet which we have sniffed we look into the structure a little later packet info size is nothing but let's uh, look at the main function now 
raw is basically the socket descriptor for the raw socket packet underscore buffer is the buffer which is going to contain the packets which is sent to us from that interface packets to sniff is an input which the user is going to give us regarding the number of packets to sniff packet and un packet underscore info is a structure of type socket edr underscore ll which is going to contain some information about the packet which we have currently sniffed from the network this the kernel would basically fill up and give it to us packet info size is nothing but the size of that socket edr underscore ll structure we look at the structure a little later now after that we call the create raw socket function now what this uh, function is going to do let's basically go to the function itself so it simply creates a raw socket and takes input of the protocol we want to sniff right we already discussed how to create a raw socket it's by calling socket with pf underscore packet soc underscore raw and the protocol we want to sniff converted into network byte order so as we clearly remember that eth underscore p underscore ip is the protocol type for ip networks which we are interested in sniffing so this call creates a raw socket and which is stored in raw then we go ahead and bind this socket to an interface on which we want to sniff so arg v1 is nothing but the interface eth0 or another any such equivalent which the user is going to give us raw is the socket which we just created eth pip is the protocol which we are interested in once again so let's go to the bind raw socket function and have a look at what it does once again we see the soc addr underscore ll structure and another structure called if freak now let's quickly look at how we can find out about all these structures one way is of course to go ahead and see the include files and open up the include file itself net underscore if dot h so let's open up a new terminal and just open up that file user include so now we can see that this is the if freak structure right but the point is it is this is a very tough way of finding out which structure is where what are the uh, members of that structure etc so there's an easier way to do it there's a utility called c scope it should be installed on most systems by default if not you can download it from the internet so this is actually for code browsing and i think most of you might be familiar so what we have to do is just uh, let's say have this file sniffer dot